Well, I say all salvage, yeah, as you see, uh, dishes, uh, odds and ends, gent suits, ladies' dresses, anything that uh, insurance uh, goes on fire, and I usually buy it up and I usually sell it at the barras. They sell uh, terling nets, heavy curtains, we do a bit of custom made, and uh, what do you call it? I've also got a shop in Wisher selling boys' clothes, schoolwear shop, which uh, the barras paid for. <laughs> Nice crochet work if I can get it to sell. I get it reasonable enough to sell. We cover we cover most household ranges when we can, and what you'll appreciate we're limited to space. We've got approximately 12 and a half feet frontage here, so we are we are limited on space. But uh, we, as I said, we try and do most stuff all household as far as we go. Dinner sets, pot sets, frying pans, teapots, quite a range. Electric kettles, you can see it all there. Um, top quality jewellery, upmarket, 9 carat, 18 carat, rings, bracelets, watches, all under guarantee of course, three years guarantee with all the watches, do all the sizing for all the rings and we don't charge for the sizing, uh, make ourselves competitive and sell equal to the top quality merchandise they sell in any other shop in the, in the west of Scotland. All types of underwear for boys, girls, mummies and daddies and all the sexy types as well. Get some brass wear for my daughter in Canada and baby clothes. Yeah, just a walk about, just see what I can see, and I can buy. Come to do some shopping and to have a look round. Antique jug or something of that character that is a really a, a very fine piece of work. Even a nice picture, a good frame picture from some of the old timers, you know. There's a guy out to Garmuck Way. He used to come down and buy table covers. And if you see the table cover, it's in Garmuck Way, it's one of mine. He only paid 50 pence for it. I bought my first watch here 48 years ago for one shilling and seven pence, a pocket watch. I've still got it. Um, I've been selling here for uh, over 40 years. I started selling over on the other side there, and I came to this stall about 30 years ago. One of the most uh, interesting uh, sales I ever had. Old Charlie Diamond, an old pal of mine who's a local car dealer, uh, drove up here one day with an old Volvo and he knew my my car was off the road and he came up and looked at a charm bracelet he looked the week previous for his wife and he said, uh, uh, you want to do a deal with a charm bracelet against the car? So he said, I'll need to part with money. So he wanted a hundred pounds, I gave him 25 quid and he gave me the keys of the car and I gave him the charm bracelet and I run the car into the ground. I came 45 years ago to give my mother a hand on an odd Saturday morning. She's been here 60 years and uh, I came to give her a hand and I've been here ever since. <laughs> Everything was open there and we used to hire the barra from a fella called Hislop. And the interesting thing is you had to get as much in the barra as you could and it was pushing the barra up the hill there. And used to give the lorry drivers a shilling or a sixpence to tie the barra on and tow you up. And it was terrific coming up the hill, but at night time when you were packing up and going down the hill, your legs never left the ground because the barra was down the hill all the road. And this was exciting. And as I say, there were no roofs in the barras then. And what happened if it was dry on a Saturday, you come up and you set up your stall. But the minute the rain came on, everybody was underneath the barra to protect herself from the rain. And if you're lucky the rain went off, if no, you were under the barra for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm born and bred in the district here, yards from where we're standing. Uh, Spent all my life here at, at, at the market. For as a young lad, he brought up just across the road there. I was always in the Barras area, you know, running about watching all the old time grafters. Myself actually selling. I've been selling well over the 30 years mark, you know, well over 30 years. But on this market, you must appreciate you get from all walks of life, you know, from say sporting personalities, theatrical people. I mean. Lex McLean, for instance, one time, and I knew Lex very, very well. Lex has come round the market here and lots of conversations with him. Another one in the theatrical line was, was Connolly, Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly got a lot of his stuff from this same market where I'm standing now. As a matter of fact, uh, I think if we'd any cooperate with stuff, we'd be getting some money off Connolly because uh, he's used an awful lot of our stuff throughout the years. John McConnell, a uh, former European middleweight champion. John was a good friend of mine. John, used to work in the market here. We had the late the late and very good Chick Calderwood worked three stalls down the road there. And 
called it would be even if he was a British champion was was working here. Charles and Di sent down a few things for a for the wedding, appreciation of their wedding. Of course, I hope I don't get sued for saying that, you know. <laughs> and if they got them, they never paid for them, by the way. <laughs> We've got some types of sad stories to tell and we've got good happy stories, like so, uh, especially this kind of sexy underwear. We've got people, girls that comes to try and get their, mari their marriage brought together again, buying different types of the sexy stuff off us to, to make their marriage work again. We've got a crowd of chaps that comes to Ireland about four times a year to see their favourite um, football support and uh, they buy all the kind of sexy types of uh, underwear they can see here for all their wives, to say their wives anyway. <laughs> well, staying here and seeing all the things that was happening, you had to be involved because there's so much happening here, you know, buildings getting pulled down, factories, everything disappearing here, that you had to, if you're going to stay, you had to be involved in what was happening in it. And that's how I got involved, because uh, I wanted to know what people were doing with my money and the authorities and how they all worked and things like that. So you had to go and find out all these things and that's what I did. I went and found out what was all happening, who was in charge of what, and I just worked it for their onwards. I didn't like the type of house and that they were going to be building and things like that. So we had to have a wee battle and fight with them and that was fine. We won the battle through there. So we got what we wanted, you know, in housing and environmental improvements and a lot of things like that. I really like working with fishmongers and doing what I'm doing in there. Uh, it's a happy media about here, people all get to know you and things like that and you get a hold up a good clientele in here. But I've been there for about 19 years and I've, I enjoy it very much. Enjoy the, the atmosphere you get doing here at the weekend, especially you know, being involved in the bars and things like that. I think he's uh, very colourful and uh, very impressive. He has a lot of variety of goods. You can find quite a lot of interesting items here. You can buy small souvenirs for your friends. I come from the north of England. I would say I've been to four markets. And to be quite honest, this is the biggest and the best. And I think, personally, I've bought one of the best items of whatever. I don't even know what they call it. But that bloke over here has just demonstrated it. And it's certainly brilliant. And I'm worth it. It's well worth coming here, just for this, because this is a, going to save my wife endless work. Well, it's, uh, it's quite a place, really. Very large, very crowded. It seems to be quite popular with the people here. It's much better than the shops, and much cheaper. And I'd rather come here than go to the shops. It's not too old-fashioned at all. It's just a tremendous wealth of character. A character that can't be copied anywhere in Scotland. I thought there are many markets now throughout Scotland. The Battle Land will always have it hold its own. And even in the years gone past when all the quack doctors and medicine men and fortune tellers, it was the Mecca for thousands, along with for Britain. And uh, possibly it's parallel to anything that London or England, any city in London and England and Manchester can hold. But Battle Land will always be Battle Land. It's a character of its own. The barrels, we're off to the barrels, we're off to buy linoleum, a byproduct of petroleum. Ho, hey, the barrels, you can't beat the barrels, we're off to buy a cotton rail, a scrubbing brush and washing pail, whatever it is, you can't fail. To get it at the barrows. Oh, hey, the barrows. We're off to the barrows. We're off to buy some crockery. That's Cox China to you and me. Oh, hey, the barrows. You can't even whack the barrows. We're off to buy some flying ducks A wall plaque and wally ducks You'll find them all, sure enough Somewhere in the barrows 